Hello, everyone, and welcome. That means the uh, first presenter will be Melissa Armo. We'll be starting promptly in just four minutes. You see the slide that's already up. Melissa will be heading off the presentation today, followed by Mark Sachs with Right Line Trading. So start time again, four minutes, everyone. Thank you and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Creator Central. Your host and presenter today, Melissa Armo with StockSwish.com, and she will be followed by Mark Sachs with Right Line Trading. So thank you again, everyone, and welcome. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, at the sound of the trumpet, you know that it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter. Today, we have a twofer, Melissa Armo with the Stock Switch will be starting off and followed by Mark Sachs of Brightline Trading. But now it's time for Melissa. Please put your hands to, and welcome our host and presenter from the StockSwish.com. Please welcome Melissa. <laughs> Kevin, thank you, Kathy, and thank you, OnlineTraderCentral.com. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swish LLC. And today, I'm going to be talking about how to turn yourself into a consistent winner as a day trader. And the reason I'm talking about the subject, and that I believe that I can talk about the subject, is because I'm a professional day trader. I trade the market on a consistent basis, Monday through Friday. There may be days where uh, I don't have my strategy set up to meet my qualified uh, point system that I don't take any trades, but I'm there every day actively Monday through Friday looking for something to set up that I want to take. So welcome. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa 
at thestockswoosh.com. You can also go to my website at www.thestockswoosh.com. You can go to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype at any one of these places and watch some other videos that I've done. You might be interested in actually videos I've done about the market because I've called this market very well and I've continued to do so. And you can go back and look over the last uh, six months even and see all the calls I've made in the QQQs and the spies. So I want to start out with my picture myself just to let you know I'm a trader, okay? And that's how I feel I'm qualified to discuss this matter here today. I'm a successful trader. And what does that mean? It means that most of my trades are winners. And winning on a regular basis in your trades really requires a systematic approach. This means a solid system or method that you have little deviation from. The name of the game in trading the market is about doing trades that have the highest odds of success. And I firmly believe this. It is not about throwing darts at a blank board to see what sticks. Because many times if you do that, you'll find you don't win. Less is more for consistent winners, meaning the less trades you take, the more money you will make because you will have less losses and more trades that are good because you will focus on quality. I really personally have focused on one top watch per day. Now, there are some days where there's two things that I really, really like a lot, but I usually only do one thing a day. And so I really have a method to narrow it down and pinpoint it. You can turn yourself into a consistent winner in the market by learning one system that you can trade in all time frames for profit. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, you could do it on a one minute chart, you could do it on a two minute chart, a five minute chart, you could do it for long term trades, swing or core, even besides day trading. Although today we're going to talk about the day trading. My system reads directional bias and trend, and that's how you can use it for multiple time frames, meaning day, swing, and core. If you keep jumping from thing to thing to thing, and I'm going to talk about what I mean about that in a minute, you will never make it. You will, you will never make it. I can tell you right now, you'll never make it. Meanwhile, time keeps ticking by and you're not getting anywhere. And this is true. I, it's shocking to think that it's halfway through the end of 2014. It's, it's shocking to me. Like, over the weekend, it was out. I mean, I'm like, the half the year's gone. In six months, it'll be Christmas, less than that. It's really hard to believe, so time keeps ticking. And if you're spending time in your life, investing in your trading, in your trading career, you want to do this, you want to make money, you have to think about that because it's reality. You have to find one strategy and one system that you can have conviction in trading day after day so that you can turn yourself into a consistent winner in the market. Because if you don't, time keeps ticking on and you're going to waste years of your life and a lot of money getting nowhere. I believe that a lot of people out there have a winning trader inside of themselves, but many people don't ever give it a chance. Why? Because they keep jumping around and wasting time on meaningless information instead of looking for something that pops, okay? And I'm calling it that because something that's, that, you, that just clicks with you, okay? That you say, yeah, oh, this really makes sense. Yes, I see it. And this kind of how, how it turned out for me. Like when I first started out uh, six years ago, deciding that I wanted to trade stocks for a living. I didn't know that I wanted two gaps. That's the strategy I trade and we're going to talk more about today, but I didn't know I wanted to do that, okay? I didn't just run out and decide this. It was this kind of thing where all of a sudden one day I did a gap trade and then it just popped in me. And I said, this is it and I'm going to embrace this. And I think for you personally, you've got to find something like that. Something that excites and ignites the passion in you to want to get up every single morning and trade and go through the process and learn it. And, and you'll, you'll know when you know. That's the only thing I can say. Maybe it's listening to me today. Maybe something that Mark says, who knows. But you'll know when you know when you say, I can wrap my brain around this thing and I can get it. And I see that there's money there in doing this. Because the thing after thing is really just a yo-yo effect. Meaning you will do one type of strategy in stocks. Then you'll go and do another type of strategy in stocks. You might do breakouts. You might do breakdowns. You might do reversals. Then you'll jump and say, well, these don't work. Then I'm going to do gaps. Then you'll do this. Then you'll do buy setups. Then you'll do sell setups. And then you'll jump not only from stock trading, but you'll jump to options. And then you'll do options. And then you won't make any money with that. You'll waste six months on that. Then you'll go to Forex. You'll do Forex for three months. And then you'll lose your shirt on that. And then you'll go back to the stocks and you go round and round. And meanwhile, five years has gone by. Three years has gone by. All this time has gone by and lots of money. And you don't have anything to show for it. And it's what I call the yo-yo effect. And it's actually, it's like a disease. This is like a cancer for traders, this yo-yo effect. Because I'd say, you know, 85% of the people out there have this. Maybe more. Maybe higher. Okay? That they're in this. 
Very few people that I talk to say, I only do one thing. It's all I've done for the last five years or more. Very, very, very few people. In fact, I can't, I can't think of one besides myself. I've made a career and now I'm running a business where I'm only doing one strategy and one system. And I'm really only doing it one direction, although it can be done in both directions. So it is so important to stop the yo-yo effect if you're on this trail. And you know what I mean if you can think back about your, the last year of your life. The key is to find a strategy that is consistently profitable because that's how you're going to make money. That is how you're going to do it. And really, one strategy is all you need. One strategy is all you need to make money in the market. And I trade gaps. That's a strategy that I trade. And the only one. Gaps are a powerful strategy that offers the opportunity to make money on a consistent basis once you learn how. Traders can book profits with substantial gains in a timely fashion early in the morning in gap trades. And that's when the setups happen in the moves that I do. So as a day trader, you've got from 9.30 to 4 o'clock Eastern time to trade. That's pretty much when you've got to do it if you're going to day trade. Now, you can trade all day if you want, or you can only trade a certain time frame of the day. For me, for the thing that I do, it's in the morning. That's the time of the day that is very, very powerful. Gaps set up every day in the market, although not every day is there a good gap, and some days there's more than one good gap, and you have to look for them and find a way to look for them. All you need to do is find a way to pick the good ones, or what I call trades that have a high odds of working, and you're looking for day trades. So it's really, this is all that you need to make money and pay yourself on a regular basis. And when you know something that you can replicate over and over and over again for profits, it will turn you into a consistently profitable trader. Because not only that, you're going to know what to look for when something's good, and you're also going to know what to look for when something isn't good. Meaning you're going to know when not to trade, because you're going to have a good eye for things that work. Having one powerful strategy that pays will open up your eyes to the true potential of the market. And the market can offer you a real lifelong career if this is something you want to do. Now, many people want to day trade for a career. Some people only want to do it on the side, but it's there for a lifelong career. The money is there in the market if you want to do it. And gaps are a strategy that can generate up to six figures a year in profits if it's something you want to do. And that's a lot of money for a day trader to make, actually. You sit at home at your computer and you're only working a few hours a day and you don't have to commute and go into an office and can make over $100,000 a year. That's a great income. And it's possible if you have something that you're an expert at and if you're not yo-yoing around. People never get to the place where they're making that kind of money for the most part because they keep jumping from thing to thing. It is all about putting the odds of success in your favor to go up the ladder. Okay, You want to increase your odds going forward, raising the odds. How do you do that? you got to narrow it down. Okay. How are you doing this? What are you doing and when? It's really just breaking it down. This is just simple, 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 simple. Instead of going over and looking at a million different things. How do you make money as a day trader? Trade a strategy you know is profitable. That's what I do. It's gaps. They are highly profitable because they have a lot of momentum when they move. And they're being traded by institutions, which we're going to talk about in a minute. What stocks do I trade? How do I pick them of all the stocks that are out there in the stock market? Stocks the gap, the gap. I see the gaps in the morning. And I have a system that I created. It's a 26 point rating system. I rate the gap each morning. If it rates 20 points or more, I'm doing it. And I trade the gap in the direction of the gap. What does that mean? It means I'm not buying down gaps and I'm not shorting up gaps. Okay. When do I trade them? Early in the morning, on the open, which is at 9 30 Eastern time, when they set up and when they trigger. Okay. So the danger of thing after thing is really that you never get good. You never get good enough for what? To make, to make real money. By real money, I mean money that could pay your bills, money that could do anything, anything at all for your life, okay, instead of yo-yoing around. And the yo-yoing from thing to thing also is reflected in people's P&Ls because sometimes people even yo-yo in the same um, market, meaning they will trade stocks, but they'll do so many different strategies in stocks, or the P&L will yo-yo. They'll be in a huge, have a great month, or have a great week, and then they'll lose it all the next week. And that's a yo-yo effect. And it's an emotional roller coaster that uh, many people can't withstand, financially or mentally, because it really takes a toll on you. So this is the danger of thing after thing is you never get good enough. You never get good enough to really have conviction in the market. You never get good enough to actually have conviction in any one strategy. And you never get good enough to take size in your trades, which is what you need to do to make real money. And more importantly, you never learn the right way to look at something. Now, what does this mean? Thing after thing breeds no conviction 
okay, which equals losses, not profits consistently. And it's because you never learn, like, how are you supposed to look at something? Now, how have I called this the, the stock market, the cues and the spies, the market, the rally that the market's had, how have I called this so well in this calendar year 2014? Because I'm looking at things correctly, meaning the right way to look at it. Now, what I mean by right, I mean I'm saying something's going to do something, and it does what I say it's going to do. So I'm seeing it ahead of time, because that's the only way you can actually make money. You say, I'm going to take a position in this, and it's going to go to this point, part here, to the next part. Like, for example, do you go long or short? Okay, here was a gap in Oracle. This gap was back here. This is the end of June. When this gap happened here, I rated this gap in, for my system, okay? The gap did not rate 20 points or more per my system. It was under the amount, okay? It wasn't 20 or more. So I did not short this. This was a gap down. The stock closed the night before here at 42.50, opened the next day down here at 40-something. Stock did gap down, did gap down overnight. This was an earnings gap on Oracle. But when I rated it per my system, it didn't rate as a good short. Could you have made any money shorting this? Not really. It would have been a quick scalp. but didn't go anywhere and closed green with a green body on the day. But did I buy this? No. If you don't know what to look for, though, if you're doing many different things and not focused on one thing or one strategy, you will not know what to do with this. You will try to short it and then lose in the short. Then it will lose in the short. You will flip it and you will try to buy it. You will do all kinds of different things in here and not know what to do and lack conviction. Because you first looked as a short, then you see it's a long, and then you're not sure what to do, and you have no confidence in taking the position or basically taking the risk. The ability to take risk is nothing more than having confidence in your choices. That's, that's really all it is. If you had 100% conviction and confidence that a trade that you would take would work, you'd risk $1,000 in your trade or more, or whatever your account could afford. You would. You would do it. The reason people don't, and many people can, is because they lack confidence and conviction in their ability to read things correctly. They actually don't believe that they can make the right choices. People say, well, it's discipline, it's discipline, I can't do this because of that and that. That's an excuse, although there are some people that are not disciplined. In reality, it's that people do not know how to read things correctly in reference to price action of taking the right directional position, whether long or short, and they lack the own confidence that they need to take the risk, because if they were confident, they could take the risk. And now I'm assuming in this that you could withstand it financially. Okay, that's there's an assumption there. All right. So you've got to understand how to look at something. Otherwise, you're flipping the trade even sometimes we're in a stock position. And this goes for other things you trade as well. But specifically today we're talking about stocks. And you have to have conviction in what you're doing so you can take the risk in the first place. And actually, I feel like I have to have conviction even if I would only risk 50 bucks. Because why would I risk 50 bucks if I didn't have conviction? I wouldn't. Because it'd be like throwing 50 bucks down the toilet. Okay? And that's my philosophy. So the right way to look at things, to look at stocks, to look at how you're going to do a strategy or anything at all in the market is where, what do you have conviction in? Okay? For me, I have conviction in gaps because they are made by large institutional monies. Gaps are created with large institutional money. And that's what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and then confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Trading stocks with institutions is incredibly powerful. I have a, uh, a, a friend, okay, that works for a large accounting firm in the city. He's a partner. He's a partner for a big accounting firm in the city. His clients are hedge funds. I was talking to him over the weekend and about, well, I said, hey, you know, how much are these people, these money these people make that run these hedge funds? He's like, oh, you know, $50 million a year. That's how much these people make. They take uh, a, just a fee to manage huge amounts of money. And I said, well, you know, how much money do these hedge funds have? You know, tell, give me an idea. I mean, 50 million, if they're only taking a certain amount, which is, it's very low, what they get paid of the whole chunk. And 50 million is a lot of money, you know, for a management thing. I said, T you know, how much money is in these things? Billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars are in these hedge funds, okay? So... That is where it's at, and I've always known that, okay? I've always known that, and the more people I meet, 
uh, the more that I know that and it strengthens my own conviction. That what I'm doing in reading the institutional trend or bias for these stocks that are in the stock market, in the United States stock market, if you want to trade stocks as a day trader, you've got to be with the institutional money because they have billions of dollars. And even when you see something and read something that's going in a certain direction and you take the position, even if you think it can't be there, or it's too late, or it's, I, I don't know if this is right, you know, they have so much money that that's what makes the stocks move that gives the volatility and the momentum for them to move. That's why getting in something in the morning early helps you make a lot of money on the day because you're getting in aggressively when the institutions are because they're taking their positions in the morning. They're not sitting there all day and decide that they like something and waiting until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. They have everything figured out ahead of time that they want to do. They may even have it figured out before that day in the morning, before they even get and then the gap confirms what the what the hedge fund wants to do with their money, and then they take the position in accordance with that. Okay, whether it's buying it or selling out of a position or even shorting something. But there's billions of dollars that are these hedge funds have, and they're looking to do things with their money because they want to earn money, and it's a waste to let it sit. And so you've got to be with this power money, and I call it power money that moves these stocks. So consistency comes from conviction. How do you get consistent profits? Conviction. How do you get conviction? Knowing one thing, one thing well and sticking to it, which for me is the gaps, and you have little or no deviation from that. How do you make a lot of money day trading? You do it with size. And how do you take size? You do it with conviction. And how does this conviction come? From knowing one thing very well. Now briefly I'm going to talk here before I show some examples. What, what is the sun doing in this picture here? Is the sun setting? Or is the sun rising? This is a great example of what I mean by looking at something, understanding something, and knowing what to look at. Because this is very similar to the sun here in this picture. is very similar to looking at a stock. Sometimes you see a stock, and you line up 100 people, and some people will say it is a long, it is a buy. And then some other people would say, no, it is a short. So the sun is doing one thing in this picture here. Here's another picture. The sun is doing another thing here. What is the sun doing in this picture? Nobody's answering me. I guess nobody wants to guess. But there's two different pictures here of the sun. This is the sun in the skyline in Manhattan outside of my apartment. It's doing one thing here, and it's doing another thing here. So who is right? Okay, Nobody's guessing, so I guess I'm going to tell you. The sun is rising in this picture here. Now, how do I know? Because I took the picture live when the sun was rising in the morning. The sun is setting here, and I know because I took this picture here. Okay? The point I'm trying to make is if two people look at a stock, two separate people are looking at a stock, it could be the same picture, and they think the sun is setting and rising. Like I could quiz people here and look at this picture here. Some people would say the sun is setting. Some people would say the sun is rising. The sun is setting in this picture, but you wouldn't know unless you lived in my apartment with me and took the picture, okay? The point I'm trying to make is in stocks, how do you know how to take the right position long or short? You have to be familiar with it. I'm familiar with the way my view looks from my apartment because I'm living here and I see it every morning and every night. If you do not know how to look at the way a stock sets up the patterns in a stock, you will not know whether to go long or short. How are you going to know with conviction what something's doing, whether to go long or short? The only way is if you are doing the same thing over and over, that you have 100% conviction that you know the sun is setting or rising or you know whether or not to buy or sell the stock. Okay. So the way that I do this, the way that I know is I've created a rating system. It's a 26-point checklist. I go through a check-in every morning. One, two, three, four, five, six. I check the checklist every morning to determine if the stock is a good short or a good long. And knowing what to do and knowing whether I shouldn't do anything at all. And I teach a class on this. It teaches the rating system, which is the reason to take the class. It teaches you how to pick directional bias correctly, whether or not you should buy something or sell something. And it has a long-term trade potential for swing and core trades and gaps at rate high. You don't have to get 26 points. You have to get 20 of 26. That's how I know if something should be taken long or short. That's how I know if the sun is setting or rising. What is the reason that many, many people lose money in trades? We're talking about this today in the trading room. People lose money in trades because they take the wrong direction. They get in the wrong direction, okay? The power of hedge funds in trading with their direction is real. And so you've got to be with their direction 
institutional direction. It will be very challenging for you to make money in the stock market, the U.S. stock market, if you're not in stuff that moves with movement, with volatility. Now, we were talking about Oracle here. Here's a clip of this chart. Again, this was back here in the earnings, a gap down that happened in June. There was no play in Oracle on the day. How did I know? It didn't rate per my system. No deviation or little deviation, none. Okay? That's where the discipline arises that you have to have. Oracle was not a long. It was, it was not a short either. It was a no play. There was no correct directional bias for the day in Oracle on the day of the gap. It was not a proper intraday long or short. It wasn't a day trade. You couldn't have bought it. You couldn't have shorted it on the day trade. However, Oracle is a proper long of the bigger time frame for a longer term trade. But there is no entry for it as a day trade on the gap down day. That is a correct way to look at Oracle. The institutions are buying Oracle. They bought it on the gap down here somewhere. They held it or lifted it or kept it where it's at. Oracle is a long of the longer term time frame still. Institutions want to buy the stock. They're lifting it. They're not selling out of it. Could you have day traded this as a long? No. Could you have shorted this as a long? No. It was a no play of the day of the gap. However, Oracle long term is a long and it is not a short long term. And it was not as short or long as a day trade. It was a no play. How do I know of a system to tell me to do that? I look at Oracle in the morning, I get up, and I ask myself if the sun is setting and rising. And that's the system that I follow with little deviation. Now, here was another one here. This is Peer. I squished this together here so you could see the longer term chart on Peer here. But Peer had a play in it the day of the gap back. This was in June on the, on the 19th. Peer was a short. Peer gap down. The night before closed up here at 1820, gap down here the next morning around 1640. Peer rated well. Peer rated over 20 points per my rating system. Per my system that I trade every day. So I knew when I looked out the window and looked at the sun that the sun was setting in Peer. It was a short. It was going to go down. It was going to go down in directional movement, and you could have shorted the stock. So you could have shorted the stock for the entry, and there was a couple different entries of Peer. But on a five-minute chart, it was 1663. What does this mean? That means the risk was 17 cents. This is an advanced risk of 3,700 shares. $629 in one trade is an advanced risk. Again, if you have 100% conviction that something's going to work, could you risk such $100? You probably could. But would you if you didn't have 100% conviction? No. Would you if you didn't have something you were good at? No, you wouldn't. And you would have to risk this kind of money to make, what, over $3,000 if you took it on the day. It went to the target. This is a 5.3-hour trade. Buying power required was negligible, actually. Only 60-some grand if you wanted to buy a short peer on the day as a short. Nice trade in here, went and moved, okay, and has continued down, and I, I will show this here in the bigger chart. Now, how did I know to do peer? Because I use my rating system, and it tells me what's going to happen in peer on the day. It tells me that institutions are selling the stock on the day, that the gap will be sold. And therefore, I take a short. As a day trader, I'm allowed to short. I short it. I short the stock and make the money in the institution who is selling it. That is what is happening there. That's how you can make money. So the 26-point checklist tells you what to look for in peer. Ultimately, making money trading consistently comes from doing one strategy consistently. Otherwise, you're going to yo-yo. Otherwise, I'll show you 10 different pictures of the sun, and you won't know if it's setting or rising unless you live in my apartment. You won't know. You have to know what something's going to do before it does it. It's a misnomer that people say that people lose money as day traders because they don't have discipline. I think that's not true. And why do I think that? Because I've actually met up and talked to quite a few people since I've started teaching people. Regular people I'm teaching. And, and I talk to them. They're, they're not crazy people. Many of you in here probably aren't either. You're probably normal people who just want to make money and you don't have a discipline problem. Now, some people do, and I think the people that do then know that. But for the most part, people are not losing money trading because they're completely crazy, risking money that they shouldn't be risking and undisciplined. People are losing money trading because they don't have conviction in one strategy, yo-yo around from thing to thing, and ultimately do not take the correct directional position in their trades. They are shorting stuff when they should be going long. They are buying stuff when they should be shorting it. And they do not know what to do. They're flipping in and out of it in different directions, and they have absolutely no conviction in what they're doing. And a lack of the conviction makes them look for something else because it's the endless road of looking and looking and searching and searching, which you'll never get anywhere and you'll never make it if you keep searching for something that isn't out there because all you have to do is just learn one thing and get good at it. And I know because I've done it and I'm doing it and I'm teaching people to do it and people that I've taught are doing it, okay? So it can be taught. It can be learned. It can be done. You've just got to stop jumping from thing to thing. So the Golden Gap rating system can turn you into a consistent winner.
So it's very important. And it's all about the directional bias, the directional bias that is being made by what institutions. You've got to remember that. They have so much money, you can't even picture it in your brain. You can't even conceive it. And the amount of money to think that the people that are managing these youths hardly to conceive. It's hard to conceive. If you, I can, I'm trying to picture what $50 million would look like if I sat in here in my living room. $50 million. It's really, I'm going to start conceiving it, though. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to start picturing it. However, the idea of trading with institutions is real, and you got to do it. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap System. It's a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. It is a complete system to use to trade. It teaches you how to enter the stock, exit the stock, the target, support, resistance, and how to find the right things to trade. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. All you have to do is have a computer to do it. The dates are July 12th and 13th this weekend from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $29.99. If you are interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Kathy, if you can put my email there in the room. If you're interested in the information to sign up, email me. I am also offering a special for July. All new students of the Golden Gap course for July will receive the Wealth Manifestation course for free. It's a great class. This is a trading psychology class, and I think it's so important for people to have their head in the right direction and their mindset when they trade. This is very helpful for people, so people that will take the class and sign up new students in July are going to get this class for free. However, if you want to do this class separate, you can email me about it. Uh, the date is July 31st. The separate cost for this class is $3.99. So you're actually saving $3.99 if you do the GAP class this month, July 12th and 13th. You're going to get this class for free, which is normally $399. So it's a nice deal. And I also teach a class called the Trends Course. This is more about longer term trends. It's at the end of this month, July 29th and 30th from 12 to 4. Cost of this class is $9.99. It's a course on how to read trends in stock charts for longer term trades. And I'm doing a combo special, which actually you would get all three classes. So you get the wealth class for free, the gap class, and the trends class for $34.99. This is a really a very good savings here. Okay. So thank you so much for coming, everyone. Does anyone have any questions about anything I talked about? Anything at all before the next presenter mark gets on? Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Everybody's really quiet today. It's Monday. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you for coming. You can email me here if you have any questions. Or if you'd like more information on the class or on GAPS. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Kathy.